Hello everyone, I am Siddharthan. From now on, we are moving on to the 8th module of our machine learning course. In this 8th module, we will be discussing about the topics such as cross validation, hyperparameter tuning and evaluation metrics. This is probably one of the most important modules in our entire machine learning course. These topics are important in both ML project implementation point of view and ML interviews point of view and there will be a lot of questions asked based on these topics in an ML interview. Okay, so please follow all the videos that are posted in this module and once we complete this particular module, the next module will be on how to implement different ML models through SKLM. Okay, so this is an introductory video on what are all the topics that we will be discussing in this module so that you will get an idea of what to expect. Okay, so let's get started. So in this module, the first topic that we will be discussing is cross validation. So cross validation is a very important technique that we use in machine learning in order to get a more reliable evaluation metric such as an accuracy score. So in this uh, module, the first video will be on this topic. So once we uh, you know understand about cross validation, we will also be discussing something called a scaffold cross validation and how to uh, you know implement the scaffold cross validation in Python. So this is the first topic and the next topic will be on hyperparameter tuning. So again, this is one of the most important things that we have to do while implementing a machine learning model. So in machine learning, we usually have two kinds of parameters. So first kind of parameter is the model parameters and these model parameters are derived from the data set that we have. So if we think about a linear regression model, we have the parameters such as uh, m and c where m is our slope and c is our intercept. So m and c values are derived from uh, the data set that we have and uh, uh, the other set of parameters is called as the hyperparameter and this hyperparameter determines how your model is being trained. So we change these hyperparameter uh, values in order to get the best fit of the model in order to get an efficient model. So we will be discussing about what is this hyperparameter tuning and how we can implement this. Okay. And uh, when we talk about hyperparameter tuning, there are two main important techniques that we can work on which is grid search CV and randomized search CV. So this will be the next uh, set of videos that we will be discussing. So first I'll explain you what is meant by this grid search CV and randomized search CV and we will be taking an example and working on Python in order to implement this grid search CV and randomized search CV. Okay and uh, one more thing that I wanted to mention that is like in all the videos there will be both theoretical aspects and hands on part. So if we uh, think about cross validation or hyperparameter tuning in the first part of the video i will be giving you a theoretical aspect of all the concepts that is present there and based on that understanding we will be implementing the same thing in python so this would be the structure of the upcoming videos in this particular module so once we complete this cross validation hyperparameter tuning grid search cv and randomized uh, search cv so using all these things we will be discussing how to select models. So the next topic will be on model selection. Again, this will be both uh, conceptual and uh, Anson part will be covered here. So using all these techniques, we will try to, you know, select the best model which is suitable for our particular problem. So once we complete this model selection, the next part will be on model evaluation. So under model evaluation, the first thing that we'll be discussing is accuracy and confusion matrix. So we'll be discussing in detail about what is this accuracy, accuracy scores and especially confusion matrix. So these are all very important uh, metrics when it comes to uh, classification problems in machine learning. OK, so the next topic will be on precision recall and F1 score. So there has been a lot of ambiguity on this particular topic. And this is also used in our classification problems where uh, these are again evaluation metrics which are more reliable when compared to the accuracy score. So we'll be discussing about what is meant by this precision recall and F1 score and how to calculate this uh, while we are uh, working on a ML project. So we'll be discussing this in Python as well. And the last part of this uh, module 8 will be uh, metrics for regression. So we know that uh, we have different error metrics such as uh, mean absolute error which is called as MAE and also we have mean squared error and etc. Right. So we will be discussing what is meant by uh, each of these uh, error metrics and what is the significance of each of these error metrics. So these are all the topics that will be covered in this uh, particular module and I hope that uh, most of you know the importance of all these modules. Okay. So all these topics. So, so first as I have told you the first part will be cross validation and hyperparameter tuning and model selection and the next part will be on a model evaluation for both classification and regression problem okay so i hope you are interested to learn about all of these uh, concepts and i'll see you in the next upload where we will be discussing about cross validation and k-fold cross validation okay so that's it from my side and i'll see you in the next upload thanks for watching